Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Ken here today. We are back for another episode of the prison series on Vanity MC And I just wanted to say a quick thank you to all you guys who went ahead and joined up on factions yesterday We actually hit a brand new record of I think 2080 players on the network I mean we really passed up like some of the other servers I used to play like uh, you know not to name names or anything showing throwing any shade But yeah, that's a pretty big milestone So I want to go ahead and say a big thank you to like you guys and all the other youtubers who have just been playing and promoting it and uh, i guess you guys seem to like vanity i remember when the first time we joined um there was like a big kind of leak with vanity and like just some a lot of bad stuff happened and uh, the server player base really went down to like 200 so to see us growing like 10 times uh just from when we first joined like in the summertime i mean it's really nice hopefully we can keep growing vanity and uh prison is still doing very well it's like 11 o'clock on a sunday morning tomorrow is school and there's like 350 people on so that's obviously really good prison has actually been out for quite a while and you know uh, it's been like a really long time since we actually reset I think it's been over a month so far so it's over a month long map which uh, is pretty decent actually like usually these maps don't really last that long but I'm guessing so many people just like prisons that uh, they just keep playing so um as you guys know we released a gem pick and if you go ahead and look in my uh, PV1 I have a gem pick I've only mined like 4,000 blocks with it and it is efficiency level 15 and fortune level 10 so if you guys log on to the server all you got to do is do slash kit gem pick and you'll get one of these it is way better than the kit starter one which is i think is just like efficiency five and like fortune one so if you get on the server or you're brand new make sure you guys do your gem pickaxe because this is just a way better starter pickaxe and uh, the good thing about this one is that you can actually upgrade it over time so um in this video i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a maxed out gem pick so no i didn't grind this one out i got it spawned in for me by mossy who is an admin on the server and no i'm not gonna keep this pickaxe as soon as i'm done using it and showing it off in this video all the money that i make is gonna be like thrown into the void and this pickaxe is also going to be given back to the admin so no i'm not abusing no i'm not going to keep this no i'm not going to keep any of the money from it so let's go ahead and take a look at it it is the first maxed out gem pickaxe on the server and uh yeah guys it's a tad bit op as you guys can see right now it is efficiency level 100 fortune level 100 explosion 4 beacon 3 speed mine 2 merchant 7 no that's merchant 8 ender 3 speed 2 geminator 5 and block cell 5 okay so quite honestly i actually don't know what most of these enchants do like i've never really seen speed mine 2 or ender or like block cell i assume that's like an auto cell but we're gonna go ahead and see what it does so now we're gonna go to the warp info if you guys don't know what any of the enchants do or how prisons work so literally just go to warp info and it has so much information and it only takes two seconds to warp there so let's go ahead and see everything here so boom as soon as you guys walk in you know there's like a bunch of information about the token shop enchants for example what laser does vein miner does explosive does so all this stuff is pretty self-explanatory i don't think we need to look at those over here you have like okay what basically okay so we have the rules of that we have getting started um mining rewards let's see we got sell information prestiging and shops and on the other side we have some of the gems okay so gems can only be um, obtained using a gem pickaxe you got to do your kit gem pick every block you mine okay blah blah, blah. that's pretty self-explanatory so these are the gem pickaxe enchants right so let's go ahead and take a look at them so beacon this gives you beacons every set number of blocks depending on the level so level one equals one beacon every three blocks level two equals one beacon every two two thousand blocks and level three is two beacons every 1.5 k blocks so what do we have on this one we have beacon level three so that means for every 1.5 blocks that we mine we'll get two beacons from that if you guys don't know beacons sell from around like 65 million dollars each this is what this guy's trying to buy him for so that's like what 130 million dollars for every um 1.5k blocks plus however much money you get from uh, the actual blocks that you sell so this one has explosion and let's see what explosion do we have so we have explosion level four this one explodes blocks around the area you're mining and depending on the level the radius increases and we have haste as well so that increases the swinging speed of your pickaxe i feel like that's pretty self-explanatory ender this one is a really really good one this gives you ender dragon eggs per every x blocks okay so x blocks meaning uh depending on your level of ender so every level one one egg one dragon egg every forty thousand blocks all the way up to level three one egg every twenty five thousand blocks so that's actually i don't know i don't know if i think that one is actually really good because i know an ender dragon is worth like a crazy amount of money but i mean every twenty five thousand blocks like 
I don't know. I feel like I'd rather go ahead and level up my Beacon Enchant before I go ahead and level up my Ender one. But I don't know. We'll go ahead and see with this Gem Pickaxe. See how much we're actually going to get. Or if we can even get a Dragon Egg during this episode. Next up, Geminator. A lot of people have been asking me some questions about this. This one gives you an extra gem, you know, per every block. So at Geminator 4, for every uh, 10 blocks, you will get an extra gem. So that one is pretty good. So that way, you basically mine like one block, you'll get a gem. But if you mine like another block, you'll get like another gem. Or so like the 10th block after that you'll get another gem which is pretty cool and uh geminator five is actually every five blocks so all you gotta do is mine one block mine five more and then you'll get another gem fortune speed and efficiency i mean that's pretty self-explanatory we don't need to worry about that and then we have the regular token shop one so i'm gonna go ahead right now and warp to the vanity 2 v-a-n-i-t-y vanity 2 and that's basically what we're gonna test out this gem picks you know i want to see in another episode if i can try to find myself a maxed out 50 pick because as you guys right know right now i don't have a maxed out 50 pick i usually just use a vanity pickaxe it's pretty good guys like it's got vein miner 2 auto cell and uh fortune level 35 so i mean the Fortune level 35 is just nowhere in comparison to this fortune level 100. So we're gonna have to go ahead and see, you know, how much how much money this is gonna make. And I want to try to get a max out fortune or a max out 50 picks. So I can go ahead and uh, compare the two. So now what we're gonna do right now is just basically mine one block, and I want to see how much money we're gonna get in one block. So I'm gonna put away that pickaxe that we have an extra inventory spot. I should probably grab myself some backpacks, but I don't think I have any of those. So we're just gonna start literally mining one block in the middle. I'm just gonna touch it once and let's see how much. Okay, so guys, in one, oh my God. So in one um, block, I guess that we break, we've made six million dollars so that's what 5.4 just from the blocks that i broke and then another one point something from the diamond blocks that i broke so let's go to try to mine another one i don't know is that gonna like be replicated yeah guys so this is nuts so, i mean i guess it auto sells it too so what if i start mining in like a straight line will it just sell everything okay so it's not really selling it that fast yeah, so the auto sell on this or the block sell actually isn't that good. So we actually gotta, I guess it's kind of better if we just wait a little bit because it doesn't actually sell it uh, instantaneously like how it would with my other pickaxe. Let's go ahead whip out the other pickaxe that I use. So my vanity pickaxe, right? And if I just keep mining with this one, um, it sells, it sells, it sells. Like it just kind of sells as soon as it fills up. But with the um, the gem pickaxe, like we, ha we actually kind of have to wait a little bit. So let's go ahead and put this back in my pv1 mine this and okay so it's kind of selling it just takes a little bit it takes a little bit of a delay i mean it's definitely pretty good it makes a lot of money so that's what six million dollars six million dollars seven million dollars but uh it seems to be taking quite a while so you know what guys the only way we're really going to know if this is better than my vanity pickaxe that i have right now and uh, that's not even comparing it to a max out 50 pick is if we go ahead and do the one minute challenge that i usually do f when i'm testing out op pickaxes so uh, what we're gonna do right now is basically just mine this out so the whole thing resets and come on like man, Come on man. Just all you gotta do is reset the mine But uh looks like vanity 2 is actually gonna be taking a quite a quite a long time to reset it because uh, I guess not everything is just like blown up yet So I'm gonna catch you guys back once this is about to reset and then we'll start the one minute test Okay, so vanity 2 has just reset I've withdrawn all my money as you guys can see on the right hand side of my screen My balance is literally zero dollars. It's probably just a couple cents I've got my timer on my uh, left hand side of my screen so we're just going to only be using the gem pickaxe the maxed out one so it really only has 568 blocks broken but we got it spawned in for us let's go ahead start mining in three two one start all right so basically i kind of messed up already we literally just wasted one minute or one second but let's go ahead and keep mining i mean this definitely is gonna this definitely is breaking a lot of blocks but it doesn't seem to be selling that fast let's see how much money we're at we are at 30 million dollars i mean bro all the blocks are definitely being broken maybe if we go ahead and like mine a little bit more i mean what 12 million dollars six million dollars yeah guys i don't think this mix is that good i mean it's maxed out but like I don't think it's better than a maxed out 50 pick simply because of the auto sell. Um, it just doesn't sell us fast. Like, look, we are at 32 seconds and we've only made around a hundred million dollars from this. I know other pickaxes, like, I'm pretty sure the pickaxe that I use right now probably makes a little bit more money than this one. So, uh, we should probably get, like, the block sell added or to make it a little bit more efficient because we are 46 seconds in and we've only made around a hundred and sixty million dollars, which isn't that great, guys. 52 seconds left or 52 seconds and we got five more seconds three uh two one and that is going to be it for this one guys so let's go ahead and see how much money we made wow 200 million pretty much even 200.18 million dollars and uh that's i actually expected a lot more from this but 
The only thing, like I said earlier, that is holding this thing back is the block cell 5. If we can get this, like, I guess buffed or, like, I don't know, made it so it automatically sells rather than waiting, like, a second or so, I feel like this pickaxe would be way more OP because, guys, in one block, you would literally, like, okay, well, not right there, but, like, if you're mining from the top, uh, let's say we start, like, right here and you break one block, yeah, your inventory will get full automatically. Let's mine another block. Your inventory literally gets full. So, I think if we can get, like, an actual auto sell on this rather than just a block sell, this would make a ton more money. Alright, guys. So, I realized that while I was actually using my gem pickaxe, I was pretty much just flying around. And I realized that a lot of people who are probably going to max out this gem pickaxe don't actually have access to the slash fly command. So, what I did is that I turned my slash fly off. But now, we're going to try the one minute test. Basically without slash fly i'm gonna see if it's like it's kind of harder to find blocks to mine because i don't know it just seems like it'd be a little bit harder to do this challenge with the uh without slash fly. So let's go ahead start up my timer at one minute let's go three two one and boom okay so i'm guessing okay so maybe if you're like kind of smarter you'd uh go ahead and start at the top and like literally mine around but uh, i'm just gonna keep mining around here and let's see how it's gonna work so the bad thing about this is that i'm actually kind of just mining like from the bottom so if i really want to get back up like it's kind of hard so if i fall down to the bottom that's pretty much gg guys it's gonna take quite quite a bit i mean i guess i can mine out this whole bottom shelf area but like really finding blocks is gonna be the biggest issue over here it's good start like going back up top i mean yeah guys this is actually uh it's actually quite a pain to play without fly okay so let's see let's see what we can get from this i mean guys we are 38 seconds left and we only have a hundred million dollars damn it this is actually taking quite a while so i mean definitely this is way better than a uh, vein miner pickaxe because if you get stuck in like a two by two with there you're kind of screwed but i mean yeah it's actually not that great without uh slash fly but guys i just realized that the purpose of this is not really to make the most money just from um pure selling the okay so that's actually been one minute let's go ahead and stop the time right there so 170 million dollars is actually not too much of a difference and i've literally felt the bottom if i would have continued like mining all the way at the top here i'm sure i would have made a lot more money and then if i would have like fallen here yeah there's probably a better strategy than what i just did falling right to the bottom so this actually this biggest isn't actually that bad when you don't have fly but of course i'm mean, assuming if you have fly like it just makes it that much easier let's go ahead and turn back on our fly literally fly back to the top and just kind of chill up here and talk about the results so we made around 170 million 30 million less than when i did it with slash fly so it's not too much of a big difference what is that like i don't know like a couple percent i guess that's less than like 10 percent of a difference and uh what i realized is that when i was taking a break between filming these two um recordings i realized that like the purpose of the gem pickaxe is not necessarily to make the most money just from mining that is what a 50 pickaxe is best for but this one you can get a chance to get like dragon eggs you can get beacons um you can get like ender dragons too i think i already just said that and uh, i think that's basically the purpose of this because like if you guys are really like a hardcore miner and you just keep mining and mining and mining like let's go ahead and see how many blocks i've mined on this so already 1400 i'd be well on my way to getting a beacon from this and uh i guess the more beacons that i grind out like the more is value the more sell top value i'll be able to grind out same thing with dragon eggs if i just keep mining my dragon eggs or I just keep mining with my gym pickaxe i'll eventually start getting myself some dragon eggs which i could sell and maybe use that money to buy myself a better uh vein pickaxe or a vein miner pickaxe or a 50 pickaxe some stuff like that so i don't know i guess this pickaxe has does have some perks for the one it's like free to get so obviously it's not going to be as good as the paid for 50 pickaxe and uh, you actually can get like some pretty good stuff off of it actually so i mean guys let me know in the comment section below like what do you guys think is better this or like a 50 pickaxe so i might actually try to get myself a max out 50 pickaxe so we can do a full-on comparison video maybe do like a one minute test on both of these and see which one makes the most money so uh that's gonna be it for like this little segment we can probably go ahead and tour our cell right now let's see see what's popping over there so it's good and it's hit up the cell home um i don't think that much has changed to be honest i know our island has been like pretty active because these guys let's see actually let's go ahead and check out the cell top see what is popping up there so uh oh so let's go ahead sell top right now okay whoa why is it glitching me like that so yep channel is still number one 54 million cell level and uh the yolo wow they're actually really close holy crap they only have like five people six people and uh, they are 46 million we have a lot more people than them and then lord elias wow they're actually really close too with these guys 45 million but they have a lot more money 
then uh, oh never mind we have 600 billion dollars in our balance all right i kind of like guys so these are actually pretty close the top four islands are like very very close together except that we have a lot more money than all these guys but it looks like nothing much has pretty much changed i mean like look guys we have a ton of dragon eggs over here imagine if you just kind of mine for like a couple days you'd probably get at least like what a million blocks broken you'd probably get i don't know let's see like 10 dragon eggs off of that and 10 dragon eggs like added to this is actually quite a decent bit probably a couple billion dollars worth of stuff too so you'd probably be able to like prestige and then uh, upgrade your cell booster so you'd be selling for more money per shell and i don't know i think that'd be pretty good actually so honestly this pickaxe isn't really that bad guys so anyway i think i'm gonna go ahead and end off this episode here if you guys did enjoy and want to see that comparison video between the max out gem pickaxe and the max out 50 pick go ahead put it in the comment section below and i'll try to grab up one of those for myself but anyways see you guys in the next episode peace out